Okay, I throw a ball to my son, Ezra, at a 20 degree angle with an initial velocity of 1.5 meters per second from his head height. <clears throat> so I'm throwing it like this with a 1.5 velocity at a 20 degree angle. So we do 1.5 sine 20 and 1.5 cos 20. Plug those in a calculator to get your initial velocities in your x and y directions. So 1.5 times cos of 20 is 1.41 meters per second. And 1.5 times sine of 20 is 0 0.51 meters per second. So let's separate our... Oh, what is the ball's velocity at peak? All right, so this is a concept question. We just determined our x velocity, which is this. So our vx at peak isn't going to change from our starting. So it'll be 1.14, no, 1.41 meters per second. At peak, we know that vy is going to be zero. Concept question. Because at the very top, it's where it's slowing down to a zero and then coming right back down like this. All right, how long will it take for the ball to reach maximum height? Let's first start by separating our y and x components. So we have pf, po, vf, vo, acceleration, time. pf, po, vf, vo, acceleration, time. We know our position initial is going to be zero in our x direction. We know our velocity initial in our x direction is 1.41. We have no acceleration in our x. In our y direction, we are throwing it from his head height, which is one meter tall, or he is one meter tall, approximately. We don't know, don't know the VF. We know it starts with a 0 0.51 meters per second velocity, and we have gravity, 9.8 meters per second. So at maximum height, we know it will be a velocity that's of zero. So how long will it take? Let's use our VF equation because we have all of the equipment to solve that one. Our VF at height, at the maximum height, the VF will be zero. Our initial velocity is 0 0.51 and gravity negative 9.8 times time. So we... Put this over here, we're left with this, divide by 9.8 on both sides, and we are left with a time for how long it will take for the ball to reach maximum height of 0. 0.052 seconds. So it's very short. Now what is the maximum height of the ball? So we'll use that time in our PF, in our Y direction equation, the OT plus one half AT squared. So PF is what we're trying to find. Our PO starts at, oh, it starts at one actually. Our VO is 0.51. And we now know our time to be 0 0.052 seconds plus one half negative 9.8 gravity times 0 0.052 squared. That'll find our maximum height. So when the ball is right here, what is this height? So plug that into a calculator and you get a number not much bigger from the starting point is 1.013 meters. You can round that to 0, 1.01, .01, that's fine. So it does not get much higher than Ezra's head. Yay. How long will the ball be in the air if he doesn't catch it? So this is a question um, that it's going, so we're going from one meter tall and it's going to zero. So there's a height difference of one meter. So theoretically or hypothetically, keep that in mind. 
I did mark this as Desmos, so we are going to have to use Desmos, but let's first find the equation. So how long will the ball be in the air if Ezra doesn't catch it? So let's use our equation again in our y, so pf equals po plus vot plus one half at squared. Our pf is going to be zero, and our po is going to be one still. So our equation really doesn't change from above. However, we now don't know the time. So we're going to keep our t as our variable. And just to make that easy, negative 4.9 t squared. So this is what we're going to put into Desmos. And on the quiz, I will write, use Desmos, and you're going to go and use Desmos. So let's go and use Desmos. I did a cool thing and made a half C screen. Super cool. All right. So our equation is y equals 1 plus 0.51 time minus 4.9 times squared. All right, let's look at that up close. Zoom, 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 no zoom. So we're not standing very far apart, but it's maximum. We double check. Our answer was 1.013. That is what we got over here. Yay. And over here, is how long it'll be in the air if Ezra doesn't catch it. So, 0 0.507 seconds, so half a second. So time is equal to 0 0.507 seconds. Not too bad. Thank you, Desmos.